In the skies above Hazy, a U.S. Coast Guard helicopter prepares for its descent. It's on its way to the rural town of Cavaillon, where thousands of people were left injured by last week's devastating 7.2 magnitude quake. Those critically wounded are being evacuated from the area, but the rescue efforts for many are too slow. Hospitals are overwhelmed, if not at risk of collapse. Many roads are damaged and impassable. Even basic aid is struggling to reach those in need. We need food and water. We haven't received any help. This morning, a UNICEF shipment containing 9.7 tonnes worth of water, medical and hygiene supplies arrived in Haiti. Distributing it, however, won't be easy. Some trucks of uh, UN agencies were um, attacked, some distribution were interrupted, including for UNICEF, to the population by some, uh, you know, uh, looters, thieves who, who follow trucks or, or intervene in some uh, distribution areas. During a visit yesterday, the UN deputy chief told reporters that she was struck by the resilience of the Haitian people. We saw an enormous amount of unity in the response to the earthquake and so we believe that this can be turned into an opportunity for building back better. But with a death toll of almost 2,200 and hundreds more missing, such expressions of hope are rare. Tommy Meskel, RTE News.